You know, hats off to our guys. I really thought we battled and competed. And at the end of the day, that's what you want to have happen. You know, uh, we've had an unbelievable season. Um, I just want to thank our fans, our community. It was awesome just to watch them rally around a group of kids that was doing special things. And the thing I take away from that I want our kids to understand is just, um, you know, people want to follow people with high character. And our team exemplified that. Uh, we had high character. And because of that, it was fun to come every day. They, they were loved in the community, and people wanted to cheer on this team. You guys gave up 8-7 in the first quarter, then I mean, then they ended on an 11-0 run. Did you kind of wake up the sleeping giant there in that first quarter? I don't know. It's just hard to simulate what they've got. You know, um, anytime you bring in that kind of athleticism and strength and, and skill set off the bench, you know, they are they're rolling 11-12 deep. So, uh, you know, we just gave up some putbacks early and, and, and tried to hang around, hang around, and still, you know, with a couple minutes left in the third, it's a 12-point game. So, um, I know the final score is not indicative of, of the effort, but they're not a team you want to chase in the fourth quarter either. They shot 20, they were 26 of 42 in the field. You guys yeah. were 13 of 41. I mean, obviously, yeah. you know, their Any ability to hit shots and your ability to not hit shots. Yeah. Is that kind it's of the game, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, that's how I told our kids. That, Look, look no further than makes and misses. You know, at the end of the day, basketball is a make or miss game. It doesn't matter what your game plan is. It doesn't matter about what you're running. If the ball doesn't go in the basket, you know, you're probably not going to win. And I thought we got a lot of good looks. We had guys that we wanted shooting it with good looks. Um, we just have one of those nights. It's, it's not fun to bring it to the super sectional. Did you do defensively what you wanted to do to them in the half court? Yeah, I did. I think the tempo was where we wanted it to be. Uh, we made them work. Um, you know, we try to take Norvell away. You know, it's, he's a big time player. He's going to Gonzaga for a reason. He really shoots it, as you can see. He made some really tough shots in the fourth quarter uh, to break the game open. So that was kind of our game plan in the first half. Just that we wanted to be in it at halftime and limit him, make other guys beat us. And unfortunately, you know, the seventh man off the bench beat us in the first half. What did you tell the guys in the locker room after the game? Just how proud I am of them. You know, you spend so much time with these guys. What an outstanding senior group uh, that we have. Every last one of them has high character. And they're the reason we're here. You know, they've helped turn our program around and get it to where we want to get it. And they have nothing to hang their heads about. They were fun to watch. They were an absolute joy to coach. It was great to show up every day to practice and, and coach those guys. We didn't have too many bad moments throughout the year. We had fun together. We kept it loose. They were a focus group. Um, and they got the community rallied around them. So there's not a lot more I can say about our senior group, but it was just kind of thanking those guys for, for a great ride. Are you going to remember the run more than the end the run? To oh, yeah, no, yeah, no doubt about it. You know, it doesn't matter, you know, it is what it is, you know, whether you get beat by 30, 60, 100, it's, it's going to bother you. And, you know, the better team won. They are ranked number one for a reason. But the journey to get here was awesome. Just thinking back to the first of June when I met these guys and we started, you know, this journey together, it's... Quick turnaround, you know, nine months has gone by and look where we're at. So uh, we bonded quickly, we spent a lot of time together, there were a lot of lunches, there were a lot of one-on-one -on -one meetings, there was a lot of talking about this and that and trying to build it, you know. We've got great relationships with our guys and um, I can't be prouder of them, but the, the, the last few weeks was, you know, last few weeks of regular season was awesome. We started selling out gyms and then you go to the regional and, and you had to win normal to advance to the sectional, you know, we, we did with what the IHSA, you know, threw at us and you know, traveled to normal twice and won and beat teams on their home floor and then uh, the epic game against the Rocks last Tuesday, I don't think anybody will ever forget that. You know, some are saying it's the best game in the history of the Quad Cities, so for them to be a part of those things is pretty special. Do you talk about, you know, it's one thing to come in and have success your first year, but to see this crowd tonight yeah. and to see kind of what's happened throughout the season, does that make it a little extra special and know what, you know, when people talk to you about this culture of UT? Yeah, it's awesome, you know, it's... Uh, what a great atmosphere to play in, a super sexual against the number one team. We told our guys, you know, you can't diagram it any better than this. If you're going to get a shot uh, to go to the Final Four, what better way than to do it with the number one team in the state? And uh, as you can see, our community came out. Our student section was awesome. Uh, they kept battling to the end with our team, and we thank them for that. It was a total team effort. We feel like our community and our school is just a, as big a part of our team as anybody. Do you think that this UT basketball team changed the culture of the program? I mean, moving forward. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, I think they've got the little kids in our community wanting to grow up and be Panthers and play uh, in, in the Panther Den on Friday nights and Saturday nights and be a part of what we do pre-game. I think our pre-games had a lot to do with the impact in our culture, but our our players playing the way they did, playing as hard as they did, has, has definitely changed our culture.
How is, big is this first building block to that first year? I mean, how crucial was that in your mind? Well, it's, it's huge. I think you just try to get the building blocks down, how we act, how we treat each other, how we practice, how we compete, how we work, how we scout, watch film, I and mean, all those things. There's so many details to our program that we you know, try to instill in these guys in the first year, and they just did it to a T, and there's a reason they're standing here tonight. How much symmetry was there from what happened on the court to off the court, you know, to just the way that they, they wanted to conduct themselves, to discipline, those kind of things? There's a direct correlation between what the results were on the court with what they were doing off the court. You know, our guys didn't get in trouble. You know, they got good grades. Uh, they're well liked in our school because they act the right way. And then they hang out all the time. You know, when they're not with me, uh, they're with each other. You know, they hung out all the time. They went to games together. We went over to Jake Meskey's. You know, Jake Meskey's got like a Disney World in his uh, <laughs> basement. So our guys like to go over there. You know, they had a lot of team dinners together and things like that. So it was a fun group that really had great chemistry and really bonded. How fulfilling has this this year been for you? You've, you've had a lot of great teams, a lot of great experiences in, in yeah. your young career too. Really. Yeah. You know, I'm fortunate to you know be at the age that I am and have had so many good players and, and teams to coach. And this is right up there at the top. I told them that there's probably not not one or two that can top them. They've just been unbelievable, and, and to have the season they did with only nine home games, um, they've accomplished a lot. You know, they rallied a community. They, they uh, had the backing that they did. It kind of created a little bit of a buzz around, uh, and it's, it's kind of nice to see that they they started their own little Panther mania. You told me about your uh, dream after the Alton win. Um, what was the moment like actually standing in that tunnel and, and waiting for the game? Yeah, it was just special. You know, you kind of live for these type of moments. And from a coaching standpoint, you always want to be in these big environments. You know, the super sectional, the final four, all those types of things is uh, you know, they're awesome. You know, to be in an arena like this at Redbird Arena on a big stage, see you know your kids go out and compete, see them. Uh, in the tunnel, getting ready to take the floor to a, a big-time crowd is something I'll never forget.